Hello everyone, hello and welcome to the 2022 Dune Imperium tournament sponsored by Artificery. And I'm back, Shadow, no CJ unfortunately, so we're going to be running commentary duties for this game solo in the booth for the next 90 minutes or so, you poor unfortunate people. Uh, we are mopping up with the final game for round two before we make our way into the quarterfinals and this game should be awesome. Uh, we've got, I reckon, some of the better players in the tournament, including being honest, one of my favourites for the tournament. So really, really looking forward to tonight's match. All right then, so it is table eight, round two, playing for the final two spots for this year's quarterfinals. Only two spots up for grabs. Uh, players just sitting down, get themselves sorted out. They will be randomising their seating in a moment. There we go. So players will be sorting themselves out as per. Uh, but as I say, this should be a really, really great game here. Uh, we've got some some awesome players playing, uh, including... Um, I would actually throw out uh, Samantia, who was in yellow. Uh, now we've moved to blue. Quietly might be one of my tips for uh, for um, favourite of the tournament. I'll explain why in a moment. Uh, so players will be taking their seats. They'll be drawing for first player. And then, of course, choosing uh, in the counterclockwise direction. Beyond that, uh, players full 3, 2, 1. And then gameplay will begin. Obviously, now we're on the cusp of the quarterfinals, starting to get to the business end of the tournament. Uh, so expect a lot of high-level gameplay here uh, as we randomize for first play, which will be red, uh, which means that it will be blue to pick first, followed by yellow, green, then red in reverse order, and then red will begin the action shortly. So let's see who's going to pick first here. Samantha will be first up here, picking up Tezia Vernius, uh, much like they did in the first round. Samantha, I reckon, is a great shout for the tournament, potentially, here. Uh, played Tezia first round, very, very complicated character, uh, absolutely smashed it. Uh, had won the game in, like, six turns. Ridiculous. Um, it shows the power of Tezia when played uh, to her potential. Uh, excited to see her played again. High hopes to see a lot of fun action here, for sure. Uh, next up is going to be Disco Play, uh, known as uh, Deplacon on the Discord. We're taking Count Ilbarn, uh, which I'm okay with. Uh, went Helena first round. Uh, had a very, very narrow tie. Uh, I think it was a freeway tie for first place in the first round. So only just about squeaking through. Ilbarn always solid. I think he's probably improved a little bit uh, with the X expansion um, in the original game. It's kind of uh, a little bit suspect at times, but you got all these council spots now you can make lots of use out of. Really, really good. Mentat especially. Next up is Alhaz Red, uh, who's also Asmodeus, uh, going for the Baron, which they did in the first round. Uh, got through with a pretty narrow win, courtesy of some help from Grand Conspiracy. Baron in the second spot, always incredibly strong with his Master Stroke ability, so we'll have to see what he picks for his tokens. Can make a probably a logical guess. And then last up is going to be that guy who is Azen Beast on the Discord, uh, who went first round Helena. Uh, pretty strong game from everyone. Ended up winning with 13 points total, which was kind of ridiculous. Um, absolutely smashed it here. Uh, so green, green's just going to make the Master Stroke picks now uh, before red takes the token, which I think is reasonable. Uh, the general gameplay now is to take uh, the Fremen and spacing guild uh, slots here which is exactly what we're seeing right there um that's just where we're at, at the moment uh, that is how the games tend to run and red taking on of helena here as well helena in first position is always a little funky i think um she's very obviously strong later position due to her ability to cross into uh, green and blue spaces uninterrupted can infiltrate at will so playing up first is a little interesting um, you know, when you have a thing, object, perhaps the beast, perhaps beast, obviously very, very strong early starter. Uh, we'll see what we've got here. Uh, the beginning conflict is going to be just a general skirmish. Uh, our cards for this game, we have a local fence, uh, quite a card I quite enjoy, being able to switch uh, between your spice and solari as your strategy demands. I uh, should probably get that highlight there. Uh, we have freighter fleet, very, very popular, um, just to get uh, some shipping on reveal. We have the Court Intrigue, uh, infiltrating um, into the Emperor Seats. Ability to change, your, uh, change up your Intrigue cards if you wish. Duncan Idaho, uh, who's very, very nice, very strong. A couple of swords is pretty sweet. Uh, to be able to cash in water for some troops and cards. And the very powerful Fremen Camp. Go mining and convert that into immediate troops, which you can most likely combat with the mining spaces here. Very, very strong. 
Uh, our text for this one, we have Disposable Supervisory uh, for free. Spice, very, very strong. If you have six more of you, we can trash cards in play. Uh, detonation devices, using your Dreadmorts, trashing them for victory points, so they're keeping them. And the very powerful troop transport, someone's going to go for this very early, uh, being able to send your troops to Ukraine from shipping immediately into combat. Very, very strong. So let's see what we're going first. So Helene is up first with a bit of a funky hand. You seek allies, both daggers immediately, so probably... Might feel compelled to go <clears throat> to an early combat. Does have reconnaissance, though, so she could probably use that to uh, maybe fold space um, and then look to recon perhaps the car fag, uh, I would suspect, probably on second turn and make a stab at the combat here. We draw on both your daggers. You probably feel compelled to get stuck in there, so that would make sense. Uh, Baron is up next. Baron does have access to immediate... Um, does that oops does that access to the immediate Hardy Warriors if he so wishes with his diplomacy card to cash in his masterstroke tokens immediately if he wishes. Uh, two convincing arguments though is pretty strong um, with the Dune, so might well consider doing so because um, he's gonna have a decent reveal. No, it looks like he's gonna go for the steel suit early. Okay then, just gonna try and lock up the water, try and shut some people out. Maybe go for Master Stroke uh, second turn. He knows he's going to have Seek Allies uh, second turn uh, if he doesn't draw any cards. Uh, so this actually makes a lot of sense. Uh, bank that for second turn. He can't be stopped there anyways. Uh, he'll get his Fremen Alliance. He'll be very strong on that. He'll be up to three marks on that immediately. That'll be very, very strong. Ilban uh, going uh, shipping, which makes sense. Convincing arguments here. Uh, pretty nice looking hand, actually, uh, with diplomacy as well. So a lot of influence. Tezia begins already. We're seeking allies up to wealth with the Emperor for the cash. Again, she's going to be wanting to tech up very, very quickly with the influence on the tracks to make use of her uh, abilities with her super tokens to get extra bonuses. Very nice. Here comes Helena. Yep, Helena to the Carfag. Makes sense. Late deployment. She'll get committed here. Baron did go with two troops in from Steel Suits, which makes a whole lot of sense. Zoom you in a little bit here, kids. There you go. See a bit more there. Uh, picks up the Faction Envoy. Um, influ uh, the, the Influence. The Entry card. I quite like this. Very, very fun. Uh, if you have a bit of a dicey deck, that can definitely get a jump on players early game, who will, sometimes will try and keep track of where your um, diplomacy cards have gone. See if you've got much um, access to council seats. Uh, your faction seats, I should say. So that should be pretty good. Nice to have that early game. Very, very nice. Back off to the Baron here. Uh, Baron's... Hmm, what do you do second turn here? Uh, you, there could be a call for an early reveal. You've got, like, the five influence. You can't want to have first crack at cards here. Duncan's pretty strong. Fremen Camp is going to be very highly sought after. Uh, we do know, of course, that um, Ilban and Tezia have decent reveal hands as well. But they'll probably want to make use of their diplomacy cards, I would suspect. Baron looks like he is going to go to probably do a bit of mining here to the basin. Just pick up the extra spice. He might deploy um, and hope that his dagger is going to be good enough here. But it's a little tricky. Uh, he's going to go for it. He's going to be um, disappointed to see that is not going to be enough to defeat Helena here. A little unlucky. But that is what it is. Ilban up next. Uh, again, when you get your diplomacy cards first hand, you do feel compelled to use them. You've got to make a stab at these... Uh, these influence tracks very early, so uh, Ilban taking the Intrigue. Igor Authorization, that's a nice early card to look to get to shipping. And uh, Tezia going straight away for some spice, nice and early. Uh, perhaps eyeing up some of these uh, techs up the top side here. Troop transports, detonation devices. Uh, disposal facility can be really good for Tezia. Definitely see that. And want to get the one troop in to cash in the extra spice as well. Take them reveals, so yeah, Baron's going to be a little unfortunate here to not pick up, uh, not at least tie second place, Lander picking up both daggers. Bit unlucky there, not going to lie. Two to buy. Freight of Fleet feels like a, a fairly logical choice here. Could go liaison as well, but I would imagine Freight of Fleet will be the choice. Helena can definitely get quite combat heavy if she wants to, so I could definitely see that. Uh, that reveals Weirding Way, which is a fun card, for reveal for the Baron. How does the Baron want to go about this? Does he want to take Frem uh, Fremen Camp, or does he go double liaison, start trying to look to already build a high influence deck? He can do a lot of things with the Baron, I think it's quite nice. He does know, obviously, next turn he will be going up with Fremen and Space Guild. Uh, most likely, assuming he goes Hardy Warriors. Oh, he won't be able to, though. He won't be able to go Hardy Warriors yet. He has deployed his troops early. 
So that is not going to be an option for him. He'll have to uh, masterstroke a little bit later on. Definitely a little unusual to see a Baron, especially in this tournament, not masterstroke like immediately, um, like first turn, uh, if not second turn. But he has not put himself in a position to do so. So it'll be interesting to see when he decides he's going to want to make use of this or not. Uh, he's obviously discussing his ideas. Uh, there's some good cards here, to be fair, for um, on the on our deck here. Some very good cards. They're all pretty solid. Weirding Way uh, lets you play a second action immediately after taking your first. The only card in the game that does that. Um, so it's quite unusual. Definitely makes um, some, some interesting gameplay. Goes with Fremen Camp, which is always a solid buy. Uh, Ilban to reveal. So Ilban has five to reveal here, which is very nice early on. Sadly, no like big five cards like Carry All or um, um, to think of decent sort of five strength cards uh, like um, Lit Keens, perhaps that sort of thing. But still, some decent choices. Could go for um, Wording and Missionaria just to bank and guarantee the extra influence. Feels like a nice uh, pairing here. Uh, I, Duncan would also be pretty solid. Um, it depends if you think you can get hold of a lot of water, though, in this game, which means you're going to be spending a lot of time at the Siege. bit reliant on conflict cards, uh, re giving water rewards, so you can pick those up as well, is the only danger with Duncan. Uh, you are kind of forced to go towards getting to the Siege Tiber uh, very early and using that for the extra deployment in card draw, which is very, very solid, mind you. So Choices. But weirding a missionaria just feels pretty good. If you can draw on both, you're pretty much guaranteed to be able to uh, use them back to back and not be blocked here. But Duncan, Duncan's really nice. Both very good choices. Even court intrigue. I think court intrigue is one of the uh, the Alyssa cards here. Oh, Furfir comes up for five reveal, which is going to be up and taken by Tezia surely here. No, Tezia goes for, um, she's going influence. Okay, fair enough. It's just in the drop, leave Fufia though. Fufia very strong. Assassination Mission comes up. It's nice early to get some extra cash. Appropriate here, very strong. Uh, possibly for Tezia this later on to look to pick up the extra, uh, being able to buy text with Solari instead of Spice. Karma is resolved. Uh, Red will get the win and the, uh, the early influence, taking it with the guild. And some Spice for everyone else there. Yeah, make sure to take your extra spice there as well, Helena. All right, lovely. So that is the first turn over and done with. So, feels, I don't know, feels interesting if the Baron didn't, chose not to go Hardy Warriors for the win and take the Master Stroke, doesn't do it. Um, and now he's kind of got to build up his forces again. Uh, next comment up is Trade Monopoly. This is a very popular one for the shipping there, which is very strong, as well as the extra troop in the garrison. Um... Baron probably really wants to get involved in this, but just no easy way to get into it. We'll see what he draws. He has his signet ring, which he can't make use of at the moment. He has no cash. Um, could well go for smuggling and then maybe look to make a trip to one of the cities, perhaps, to try and get some troops in, pick up a, a second third place reward, get some intrigue going here. Um, could save Seek Allies. I do like saving Seek Allies um, till later on in the game. Um, I think it's nice to leave it for the first turn or two. People sometimes forget that you have it and then underestimate your ability to visit faction spaces. But uh, Baron might opt differently here. Does have the two water. Could go immediately to the Great Flat. Uh, if he really wanted to, he could actually go Great Flat for the Spice and like go for an early Highliner if he really wanted to get Masterstroke off. Um, it'd seem a bit unnecessary, though. Probably at this point. He's going to use his Seek Allies straight away, though. Just going to bank up some cash. I guess he's going to go for this to take the cash and then use Signet Ring uh, in order to probably get some intrigue. Looks like that's going to be the uh, the strategy here from the Baron. Look at some other cards here. Um, Ilbarn already ready with his play. He's got his double daggers. Double daggers for Tezia. And, of course, uh, now Helena picks up some faction cards as well as her ring. Her Signet Ring is very important. She's got a decent influence hand here as well. Um, so she could well put aside Fufia um, or Appropriate if she thinks she's going to be rolling a lot of money in this game. But very strong. No, here's the change of plans here for the um, for uh, for the Baron. Will go smuggling. And it looks like he's probably going to pay for the influence, uh, pay the money to get the immediate intrigue. The only reason you play that. So he picks up, picks up Glimpse the Path. Not a bad little card here. One spice for the water and the card draw. That's that's pretty strong. I do like that very much. 
Um, nice easy pay uh, for the card draw. The water can get you to places you would not expect, like an ambush, a, a, a great flat before someone else who had been stocking up to kind of pick it when they want. That's a nice little ambush card. Sick allies for Ilbarn. Ilbarn's going to go for the Hardy Warriors. Look to make his claim for trade monopoly. Makes logical sense here. He's going to go pretty aggressive. Want to look to go for the tr the um, go for the shipping. Of course, Red already has immediate access to it, uh, but no one else has uh, any influence with the guild. So we're just going to see who's going to be second to make the stab here. Tezzy looks like she's probably going to go. I reckon. I reckon she's going to go tech buying here. She's got the spice. She made a point of getting that at the end of last turn, so she might be going to pick up disposal. Um, or maybe even troop transports. We'll see which one she picks up. She will go for the disposal facility. Pretty strong card in Tessie's hand, potentially, here. She gets the trash immediately as well, which is pretty nice. New tech up here is Restricted Ordnance for Spice. Get a seat in the High Council. Four swords in every combat. Very powerful middle game tech, this. Very powerful. We'll see who wants to go for that. Trash is the dagger. All right, next up will be Helena. Helena's got a lot of options here. Um, I don't know what you do here. Do you start looking to go for... Um, I mean, she. I, it seem obvious that her first thing to do will be going to uh, Interstellar Shipping. Probably put a card aside here. Seems a pretty obvious first play. Which one would she put aside? For fear or uh, Appropriate? Looks pretty good. I mean, both are good options here. Um, put it into the reserve. She'll be able to bite for one less. Fufia seems the obvious choice. Just if, just for the, um, just for the sheer amount of symbols and the access that Fufia gives you. And if you ever don't use him, then you get a free intrigue for your troubles. Kind of depends, though. Um, the thing is with appropriate is that you do need to influence with the emperor in order to use its ability. So yeah, Fufia seems the obvious choice. Put that aside. Ooh, and that will reveal the Guild Accord. Very strong combat card here. Uh, cannot be blocked from Spacing Guild. And you see here, two less cost of spice to go Highliners. Very, very strong card in the late game. If you pick up the Alliance and even have it as reveal, um, with the, uh, pick up some extra Spicer as well. Very strong card. Could be some competition for that. Baron taking Seek Allies. Yep, yeah, it's going to start building up the Fold Space. Someone... You feel probably needs to uh, start challenging uh, Interstellar Shipping for Helena. So we'll pick that up there for the Seek Allies. Pretty straightforward. No troops to get involved in the combat. So Ilbarn's going to take this one. Looks like pretty, pretty solidly. He's got all these daggers. Um, I don't think you really need to send all eight troops in. Probably could have kept one back. You know you had two daggers. Um, so I feel a little bit inefficient there. Could have kept one of those troops back for later on. Um, and then just, you know, use your Signet Ring, which you're probably going to do anyways. So uh, maybe a little bit overkill there from um, from Ilbarn. But never mind. Nothing wrong with uh, making sure of it. Going to take a trip to Carfab, by the looks of it. Pick up the cash. Another troop into the garrison. It'll probably stay there. And Intrigue picks up Charisma. Christmas is a nice little card here. Uh, getting plus two reveal on your re on to your reveal. Very nice if uh, late in the turn, like a, a big card comes up, like Jessica perhaps, or um, uh, Charm Directorship, anything one of those. Makes perfect sense. Tezzy is going to go to Arakeen for the card draw and look to pick up um, just a cheap second place. Uh, get told a missionary immediately. That's a little unfortunate. She kind of would have wanted that for next turn to start getting the extra influence. Little unfortunate there, is what it is. Uh, she drops down in the Emperor Alliance uh, to go up with Spacing Guild using Duplicity. Uh, she can drop one down to go up one where she doesn't have, still has a Snooper token still. Tessie is as a very complicated character, uh, very strong in the right hands, definitely, uh, but requires a lot of a lot of thought as to what you want to do, how you want to play. Uh, so it's Helena with Diplomacy here, uh, going to go with the yeah Steel Suits. Uh, it's going to look to secure second place, deny Tezia. Unfortunately, can only deploy the one, though. So she's only ever going to get uh, second spot, here, uh, third spot here. I guess she just wants the inf the intrigue here, get the influence with the Fremen, which is cannot be a bad thing. All right, it's time for reveals. So four, uh, free even for the Baron. Assassination mission seems fine. Uh, you could start going liaisons, perhaps. Court intrigue is good if you want to start looking to get Emperor influence. Uh, local fence could be good for somebody who thinks they're going to be rolling in a lot of uh, supplies here. The Baron can definitely do that. 
I could see that being bought, but it's a little bit of an uncommon choice local fence, though. I think people tend to kind of go with things a little bit more uh, straightforward, a little bit less complicated. Whatever he draws, though, he will be able to pick up potentially next hand, though, of course. Everyone on those three players on the discard, uh, Tezia will not be able to pick up whatever she draws here in her next hand. She's already drawn through. Does go for a court intrigue. So uh, I guess it works pretty nicely with his ring. He can get a lot of intrigues and do a lot of shifting around, so it makes a lot of sense. Uh, Ilbarn is going to have just the one to buy, which he might well might as well take assassination mission, I guess. Obviously, a complete lock on the combat here. Uh, don't think your combat's quite that high, buddy. But um, doesn't declines to take assassination mission. I think taking assassination early is nice, just to try and get it trashed. Um, the extra Solari and Sword is not bad either. I probably would have picked that up there. Uh, Tezia has five to buy. She has one with the Agent Influence up there. So Appropriate seems a solid choice for her, and she does indeed go for that. And then Helena has four for her reveal. Other Memory looks pretty good. Other Memory, draw a fresh card or, or get a Benny Jesuit card from your discard. But of course, she has Fufia in the... In the reserve area to pick it up for the cheap. Uh, that is going to be combat resolved. No one has any combat here. So yellow will take the shipping and the extra troop. Um, what do you do here with uh, with Ilbarn? Do you just take the two up? Because you're getting first next turn. You think you're likely to get to smuggling. And could look to get one of these techs for cheap. But he has no spice though. So unless he wants troop transports. I think, oh no, I think it's a mistake. I think you go up and then you 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 go smuggling next turn. You take troop transports and you get more immediate reward for your um, for your troops here, and you can deploy them in combat. I think this is a bit of a misplay here from the Ilbarn. Just needs to look ahead a little bit. I know you're not guaranteed to get the spot, but I I think that's a, a slight error there. Troop transports he can get for free, so I think. Maybe a slight little oversight there. That feels really nice to kind of um, get a bit extra bang for your buck. You know you're going to get it pretty much first turn anyways. And troop transports, if you're making a stab already, you want to do a lot of shipping, is a very strong card. Because someone else is just going to get that. So, we'll see. Yeah, and there's his Doom card. So, he could well have done that there. That's a little unfortunate. Yeah, and he had guild authorization as well. So, he was always going to go shipping. I think that's uh, it's a little bit of a miss there. But never mind. Uh, Helena, see if she picked up Master Tactician. Uh, Tezio gets to the victor. Uh, don't know how much fighting Tezio's going to be doing, so she's going to feel compelled to kind of get involved with one fight. We'll see how we go here. So anyways, shipping here for Ilbarn. Yeah, I just really wish he'd played that. Bit of a shame. Never mind. Okay, Tezio up next. Tezio has got a funky sort of hand. Uh, she's picked up Weirding Way, which she might... It's kind of weird reading way. Like uh, this is more of like a late game ability. If you want to do that, to to um, to take some spots before they get denied by other players. If you're not trying to make a rush for highliners, or uh, if you want to secure like selective breeding uh, or anything like that, or you could even use it with some from influence to go to like siege to pick up water and then mine somewhere that no one thought you'd be able to. Um, definitely a lot of options. But I think early game, its uh, card ability is not the most effective. But uh, she, you don't, you're not, you're not obliged to take it if you don't want to. Can also be nice if you want to go for the early reveal as well. Anyway, she will take the shipping. She's gonna, do you take the cash and then pick up? Uh, no, you do not. And she will follow up with diplomacy. Uh, so she should get her spot here with the spacing guild, which means she will take the snooper. She could discard a card in her hand for the extra spice. Which I'm very sure she will do. She'll get rid of the dunes. It will give her free to buy on the track up here. She might well consider going for local fence here. Um, look to shift around her resources. I could definitely see that as an option. She of course has appropriate. So she wants to get a lot of cash here. So she can buy text of that. So local fence would be a very good way of transferring her spice into Solari. Okay, Helena is up next. Signet ring up immediately. What do you think Elena goes for here? She doesn't have a lot of influence in her hands. A bit of a funky one. She's going to go mining straight away. Takes the six. What do you put aside here? Guild Accord? Uh, maybe Other Memory? Both good shouts. Of, of, Guild Accord feels like the card to put aside, but you've you got to find the influence from somewhere. And that's a problem. You've only got three 
Free persuasion at the moment. You're gonna have to find another couple. Yeah, that's why she puts aside uh, other memory here. Opulence comes onto the board. Very strong card here. Uh, just get tons of money, or you can uh, use it to get hold of victory points. A very strong card. Tezia might either up, perhaps. Uh, might shift plans from uh, local fence here. Local fence and the... Uh, whatever card it is. You know the card I mean. The uh, appropriate card. That's the one there. Okay, next up is the Baron. Baron probably wanted to go Great Flat as well. Um, but I can definitely see Hagger Basin here. Imperial Basin is our combat here, uh, which is a very, very strong Imperial Basin. I could definitely see a trip to Fremen to the Hagger Basin here and use the Spice to get these troops in and deployed immediately. But he's in a weird spot here. He wants to get used off of Masterstroke. It means he needs to deploy four troops in a row. Three would not be enough. So where would your fourth troop be coming from? You don't have any recruitment abilities in, like, cities. Not been anything that up. You can't pay for the Mentat. Don't have enough cash here. So a bit of an awkward spot here for the Baron. Could go glimp glimpse the Parflick up to pick up maybe, like, Carfag or Arakeen. No, we'll go Fremen Camp right away. I guess too likely that Tezia will get involved here. Uh, he's just going to take the, uh... Yeah, that seems a better choice. Yeah, both are solid. What's keep up with the water? That's interesting. Going to take the two spice, and then we'll surely use those to deploy uh, troops into combat here. We'll want to look and make a big stab for Imperial Basin. Just the one. Fascinating. Okay. Because he's confused, he can always go like steel suits later on, perhaps. Steel suits seem solid. Uh, Mentat for Ilbarn. Milbarn is always strong to get the Mentat. Gets the double card draw, courtesy of his negotiation ability. Tezia, of course, revealing. Free to buy. And she will be going fence here, surely. I think I think it's too strong. It's a lovely synergy with that. And uh, appropriate. Seems really good. Does pick up local fence. Reveals the Fennekin Dead Commando. Very popular card. Easy way to start trashing your cards out of your deck. Fremen Bond's pretty nice as well. Helena going immediate steel suit. Um, not heel steel suits. Highliner, rocking and rolling. Hello. Wow. Didn't quite expect this. I thought maybe there was going to be some conspiring going on, but no. Goes immediate highliners. Going to make the uh the push for the Imp for Imperial Basin here. How much do you deploy here? Do you deploy the lot? Ilban still got a turn. Yeah, I think you want to try and lock this up here. You've got one dagger in your hand. It's a little uncomfortable. Send them all into combat. Seems pretty solid here. Big big stand there from Helena. Very big stand. I like it. She's got Tactician as well. So if she wins the combat easily, she could try considering retreating some of her troops into garrison as well. So I guess that also makes a lot of sense. Try and deter them from sending any troops in. And then you can save some of your own. So back to the Baron, who again is in this kind of weird spot here. Um, looks like he's going to be glimpsing, taking the water. He's going to have tons of water here at the moment. Doing it more for the card draw, really, at the moment. But uh, the water will be useful. Could consider, might be considering a trip to the research station, perhaps. Picks up a dagger. That's unfortunate. That's unlucky. So diplomacy, it is. About the only thing you can really do here. Um, I think steel suit seems reasonable. Oh, well, hello. Although you have picked up both daggers. He's going to commit and go absolute full whack here for um, get the master stroke off and look to take the Imperial Basin. Yes, this is uh, this makes total sense. He said, give me a little unfortunate. Helena does have tacticians, so he's not going to be able to win the combat here, but gets that off there, which is pretty strong. So he's going to be competitive. Everyone accessed interstellar shipping now. Uh, a strong spot for the Fremen Alliance as well. And he's going to think he's got two swords. He's going to feel pretty good here. Makes perfect sense. Ilban, do you want to just get involved to get a troop in for the water? I think you don't have any currently. I could definitely see that. Uh, what else do you do with your turn here? I don't really know. You, I, I think you could perhaps consider considering uh, playing... Um, I don't know. 
Go reconnaissance, perhaps. Uh, put a troop in. You're going to pick up a couple of water. One for Duncan. One for the third place reveal here. If you want to, if you want to get into the uh, into the water race as well, a lot of people are running with a lot of water. So it depends if you want to get in that. Maybe you're going to start considering looking to go research station later on. Get some card drawing going. Just pick up some spice. You can definitely see that. What other options do you have here, though? You don't have any spices. Just going up towards uh, tech negotiation feels kind of kind of iffy. Uh, you can't go to Hagger Basin. You don't have the water for that, so that's not an option. You could reveal now. You've got four to buy. There's nothing too great here to pick up for four that you couldn't pick up anyways, though. So, I don't know. I, I think you go to, like, perhaps Carfag. You put a troop in. Um, just take the second place. Take the third place here. Could go High Council as well. That's an option. He will give him six. No, it does go... Interesting. Goes for tech negotiation. He's just going to put a troop in... Uh, put a negotiate up there. Can be used for purchasing later on. I guess that's also an option here, but uh, I don't know. I feel like you just want to cash in, get the third place here for the basin, get some in extra intrigues going. I don't know. Both are up, but it's reasonable, I suppose, as well. Okay, on to reveals. So Helena has four to buy, so of course she'll pick up other memory. Does have one left back if she wants to pick up assassination mission, which I must definitely be tempting. But just declines against it. Here comes the Baron with his two swords. So Helene's going to be forced to use tact Tactician here. Free to buy here. Um, surely Fedekin looks pretty pretty good here for green. And we'll pick that up as well. Second Missionaria uh, turning up here. Uh, next is going to be Ilbarn. Ilbarn's going to have five to buy with the extra tech up here. Gets the reveal. That will give him seven. So is he going to go... Ah, looking to pick up opulence here. Guess this makes total sense here with his uh, ability, with his ring to get extra money for our manufacturing. Oh, and Boundless Ambition picks up as well. That's a really powerful card. One of the best, better cards, I reckon, from the X expansion. Very nice. The ability to have a second signet ring ability. Very strong. Uh, free to buy for Tezia. And I don't know if she picked up Fence or she already picked that up. I can't remember. Oh, she'd already already revealed. My apologies. So, uh, and of course, there is the Master Tactician taking the combat here from Green. He's going to, again, a little bit unfortunate. It's twice Green's gone to combat and has been kind of denied. So a little unfortunate there. So Imperial Basin for Helena. Apologies, folks. Just realized that uh, I'd had the game muted. My apologies. So it's next turn. Third one up. Uh, Desert Power is up next. Generally kind of a, uh, a sort of merry sort of um, battle. Especially there's a lot of water available here, which everyone already has plenty of. So I don't expect a huge amount of committing into this battle here. Uh, shipping for Tezzi. I think a lot of people's first uh, plays here are going to be t are going to be going uh, to shipping. Tezzi, of course, does have access to the troop transports. Uh, which has to deploy troops as she has done here. Again, a bit of a shame. Ilban could well have picked that up there um, earlier, but um, declined to do so. Uh, Tezia takes the cash, looking to probably pick up Swordmaster here. Don't think she's quite in a spot to go high council. Her deck's kind of not... Not got a huge amount of influence going. I think she's going to benefit more from the action, so probably Swordmaster incoming here. And up first, she's going to play Freighter Freak here. Um, not even wait for the reveal. She had no other way to go there, I suppose. So it makes sense. So she's going to cash in her shipping as well for the for the money. And of course, two troops. We'll see where she puts her influence here. Looks like um, Spacing Guild seems the obvious play here to, to lock up that alliance. And she does indeed do so. Could well find some further competition from it. We'll have to see. But no one's picked Guild Accord, so maybe not yet. Ilbarn has opulence in his hand. He'll be trying to look to think of ways to uh, keep his money in hand to make play at that, I'm sure. He's got diplomacy. He's got his signet ring. So I think he should be able to make that work there. Harkonnen here has got a bit of a funky hand. Uh, Court Intrigue. Uh, he's got a uh, fold space. A uh, couple of awkward 
couple of hands here. He's got a ton of water here, but what do you do with it? Do you consider maybe picking up uh, the spice here? I was going to say, I think you want to pick up the spice here now. Uh, we do have invasion ships in as well as our next tech on the tree. I think it seems good. You start using that water, pick up some spice, uh, and then you could do a lot of things with it. You could go highliner, you could go conspiring, uh, look to pick up some of these techs here. Maybe pick up uh, restricted ordnance, and then you could consider looking to go high council in the very near future. So Ilvan here, surely he's going to be looking to make use of opulence here for the reveal and starting to cash in those points. So he's going to need to start thinking of ways to generate cash beyond this, though. Uh, which means he won't be able to go Mentat unless he goes Wealth Mentat, perhaps. Which is an option. But feels doesn't feel too great. He's got some forces here, considering maybe looking to get involved in the combat here. There is, of course, a victory point on as well. Could consider going hard with Warriors. Pick up two influence of the Fremen. Uh, oops, sorry, making the four uh, potential troops here as well. Uh, and putting Tezia under a bit of pressure. I think Tezia will be happy enough to take the water and spice, though. Yeah, he does go for the wealth, yeah. So he's going wealth to pick up the two. Probably hope that no one else picks up Mentat here. Although I would think someone's going to take Swordmaster. And Hyen is probably going to take Mentat here. And it looks like she's going to go exactly that. Oh, of course, she can just pick up Swordmaster herself. She cannot be blocked. Which is fair enough as well. So it looks like Ilban will be able to get that if he wishes. Uh, Baron up next. Starting to use his intrigues here. Going conspiring. I do like conspire. I think it's a very strong space. Four spice for the five Solari, which is pretty good in the game. Two troops in your garrison and the intrigue, which is obviously good for the Baron because he has the option to re-roll his intrigue if he wishes with the court intrigue card, which is very nice. So we'll see what he draws here. Picked up Rapid Mobilization, which is a pretty strong card. Depends if he wants to go combat heavy, or... I think you probably keep that, because you can always look to garrison some dudes if you wish. Uh, I think it's one of the better Intrigue cards, but it depends what your goals are here. Do you want to... Uh, you know, it's, it's always strong to have, because you can just build some dudes and just ambush a lot of people. Although, if you just start stocking up troops in your garrison, they may start suspecting that you have it. So it's not always completely face down. Uh, back to Ilbarn here. It'll surely um, Signet Ring Mentat seems the obvious play. You get two cards into uh, draw here. You can still use Opulence. Uh, you get a third action as well. Uh, he might also be considering uh, just early revealing and taking Boundless Ambition, which is also probably not bad. Uh, I mean, Baron with the extra ring ability would be dangerous. Helena would be able to put two cards potentially aside. Not so strong, perhaps, for Tezia, I don't think. Um, her ring ability kind of gets weaker as you go along, typically. But it depends how you look at it. But I could definitely see an early reveal from Ilbarn here. And just picking up Boundless Ambition right now is not a bad option. He needs the money to be able to power Opulence. So having the second ability, the ring ability means he will be able to secure more funds. Gives him extra access to wealth if he needs it. Does he go Mentat and risk losing it? He's going to go Carfag. Okay. So he's going to make a stab in the combat here. He will put free aside. Looks like there's going to be a tie here. No one has any swords uh, in the back of their hands here. We'll see what intrigue he picks up here for Carfag. Might be of use to him. Is it combat? Oh, picks up cannon turrets. Wow, well, that's a big pull. That will be good enough to get him a victory. If uh, Tezia does not reinforce, and she might feel like she has to. Steel Suits seems reasonable. I think Steel Suits looks pretty good. Let's go to Selective Breeding. She's, uh, of, yeah, okay. She's pretty happy to take second place, by the looks of it. Not even interested in drawing up. Uh, does not draw any daggers or any swords, which is unfortunate. Loses a Signet Ring. Second time she picks up Missionaria on her final card with some extra card draw. That is a little unlucky. Not being able to make any use out of it so far. All right, back up to Helena. Hmm, what do you want to do here as Helena? You've got your third action. Um, do you really you care that much about getting troops in here? I don't know. 
we don't have any swords either, so it's just going to be everyone just quagmired at free troops here if you want to send dudes in. So it doesn't feel too great. You've got a diplomacy card. You feel probably compelled to make some use out of it. Um, maybe you just go you go secrets, maybe. Just start trying to make progress on Bene Gesserit. Pick up some intrigues. Or you can say, let's party, dudes, and hardy warrior up. Okay, that is always an option. And that's... It's going to put Gilbarn in a weird spot here now. He's going to be probably still compelled to use cannon turrets uh, to force a tie with Helena, just to deny the the victory point to her there. Uh, they'll both pick up second place. Probably feels compelled to do so. We'll see how that proceeds. Anyways, uh, Baron revealing for free. Picking up the uh, picking up Spice Hunter. Always solid. Baron up to 14 cards in his deck. Probably interested in assassination, but he's going to start having a pretty huge deck here at 15 cards. And that is, uh, you know, when you start losing a lot of, you know, you can have good cards, but unless you start getting rid of some of your weaker ones, you're going to start struggling with that. And he doesn't have a load of Spice to start going uh, hugely into Selective Breeding, but he's going to take the risk here. And I think that's what this is. I think this is a bit of a risk here with the size of his deck. So we'll see how this plays out for the Baron. Ilbarn will reveal and obviously buy with Opulence. So he has four to reveal and buy with. Uh, Jamis appears up here. Very strong card uh, with the constant get, uh, access to the Fremen. As well as the trashing ability. Would not be surprised to see a pickup here. Does not have enough for Boundless. But Jamis feels good. Goes Imperial Intrigue. Could go Imperial End. Jamis completely ignores. Okay. Taking the Imperial Spy instead. Full scale skull also appears on the deck here. One of the high cost ca uh, cards in the game. Total, uh, total of eight influence required. Uh, picks up the dreadnought on the spot, but very good if you can get hold of it. Tezia with five to buy. You might consider buying boundless ambition just to deny it from other players, perhaps. Or do you just go with more Bene Gesserit, pick up a second Missionaria, pick up Jamis, perhaps, for the faction access? Charm Delegate appears here um, with the auto access into your triangle spots, your mining spots here, as well as, obviously, that will give you permanent access to interstellar shipping, which could be, which is going to be very attractive. And I reckon if he doesn't pick it up, then Helena will, so does make the, the acquisition there. Makes total sense. Can also buy a liaison. Still enough to buy a liaison for two. And does indeed do so. Helena up with the reveal for free. Uh, might go liaison here as well, I suspect. Better gesture initiates kind of nice for the extra card draw. But pretty straightforward. But a liaison also solid. Now it's going to be combat. So Ilbarn here probably has to play cannon turrets to tie up first place. Does indeed do so. Um, and there will be no response here for um, Helena and Tezia. Not being able to make use of Tula Victor yet. So she's going to have to find another spot to get that in. Maybe Tezia considers maybe trying to build up at some point for a Highliner trip, perhaps. But she does have troop transport and she's got Charm Delegate. So she might well be able to make uh, Force of Victory uh, soon with that on a kind of a quiet combat. A quiet combat maybe like this with raid stockpiles. We'll see how things go. All right, it's round five. First action is going to be on uh, blue with Tezia. Interesting funky sort of hand here. Convincing argument. Uh, there's local fence there. She doesn't have ability to use it currently though. Picks up appropriate as well, which is a little unfortunate. It's a bit awkward. Maybe you consider going mining here, perhaps? Uh, look to mine early uh, and then look to local fence and then follow up with appropriate to pick up a, a nice tech here. But it depends if it's anything you really want. Restricted Ordnance is nice, but I don't think she's going to be getting too involved here. Oh, it was red to first pl play first. My apologies. It was Tezia at last turn. She's going to put aside full scale assault. Whether she's actually going to go for that or not, I don't know. It doesn't have a lot of influence. It might just be denial, um, just preventing anyone else from taking the card there, which I can see. And of course, shipping. Shipping is going to be, I suspect, it's going to be played on most people's first turns uh, by the looks of it, of course. And Tezia will occasionally be able to get in there anyways. But uh, that's going to be very, very popular. 
All right, back to the Baron. Uh, you've got the water to go mining at the Great Flats, potentially. Pick up the four spice. Uh, you could pick that up with Fremen Camp as well. Make, some, make a huge deployment if you wanted. Uh, that must seem a very attractive option here. Of course, does have rapid mobilization, um, which kind of doesn't work too well with Fremen Camp, but, you know. The thing is that you have is you might always think, oh, well, I'll just go mining and get the troops and then just leave my garrison to rapid mobilize. But it's going to be seen pretty face up. Players are going to just notice you doing that and they will suspect rapid mobilization is in your hands. So, you know, you kind of probably don't want to do that. But how is he going to pick up troops apart from doing a load of shipping, probably? More conspiring, make a mobilization vibe there. I could see that. Let's see what the Baron wants to do here. It's going to open up the signet ring. We're just smuggling here, which is reasonable. Goes up one. I imagine we'll pay for the intrigue. Does indeed. Picking up a council dispensation here. Two influence for a spot on the high council. He could definitely go there and do it. But it probably wasn't on the plans to go high council here. I wouldn't have thought. Next up is Yellow. Uh, Ilbarn. So Ilbarn's picked up a Duncan. He's got a couple of daggers in hand, uh, which is a little... Not ideal, but I mean, I think you just go ment out here and you just uh, cycle your deck around, you would imagine. Yeah, there you go. You should want to be doing this as much as you can with Ilbarn. You get so much power out of ment out uh, for not a huge cost as well. And you can manufacture and get cash that way. So you want to be ment outing lots. Tezia opened up with a trip to Arakeen. Uh, wants to start cycling through her deck here. She's got some good cards on her discard here. She has Weirding Way, so she might look to play again straight away here. Probably wants to look to get a victory here so she can pick in beat to the victor. Yeah, she's going to do it. She's going to lock up, but try and lock up both cities. I think she's going to say this is the time to get it. Picks up Grand Conspiracy. That's a huge endgame card here. Uh, potential for two end game points here. Uh, needs spice, influence, high council, and dreadnought. She is not very close to any of those, unfortunately. Uh, the influence you can definitely acquire, but the other three are going to be a little bit tricky to get hold of. Plus, perhaps hasn't got probably the best influence hand in the world. She's got seven on her, um, but I don't think you'd want to be trying to buy spice immediately. It is only turn five. You only need one for it, so she can pick it up sort of whenever she wants. High Council, she she can probably pick up using the local fence with some spice as well. So definitely doable, but I think this is the one she can look to make the stand here. Try and um, acquire co the victory now for stockpiles. Cash into the victor, and then look to start making progress on Grand Conspiracy. For fear out for Helena, gets the card draw, which is pretty damn nice. Uh, it's going to go and pick up free spice here from her own Imperial Basin. No, no troops to deploy. Not sure she'll worry about that right now. She's got Dispatch and Envoy as well, which will be useful later on. There'll be a spot where she's going to really need that. Always nice to have in hand, just, just for a bit of reassurance. Baron is up next. So the question is, do you go Council now? Or do you look to go Mining now and look to put in more troops with Fremen Camp? Well, he, he has got his Stored Master still to pick up, so we'll do so that. Kind of wait and see here. Depends how much you want to fight Tezia here, I suppose. Um, Tezia hasn't picked up a lot of um, sword cards. Hasn't really been the card she's gone for, so if you make a good stand in count combat, could definitely look to oppose here. Ilbarn is going to go Research Station, looking to draw cards here. See what he picks up. Diplomacy, Liaison picks up the Spy. Uh, currently has a reveal power of 8, which is not enough for uh, Spice, if you want to buy that. So might consider uh, going high... Oh, you don't have enough high council. Could go tech negotiation, perhaps. Well, that's just been picked up by Tezia, so that's out. Tezia getting herself up to the 6. Uh, she might be considering Guild Court here, maybe. We'll see. Helena also going to... Uh, research station. She wants to pick up full scale assault, of course. Oh, has she got enough? Three, four, six. She does not have enough for full scale assault. That is unlucky. Draws fair feet in the dagger. That is very unfortunate. 
very unlucky. I don't think she had very much else in her deck here. Uh, another dagger. Um, everything else was good. So to pull two out of the three, that is unlucky for Helena. She would not be able to pick up uh, her three Dreadnought. That is a shame. Interesting to see what she pulls instead. Then she might go Guild Accord, perhaps, if no one else has taken it. Um, I could definitely see that. If she what She's obviously considering going pretty combat heavy in this game. So unfortunate for Red. Uh, back to the Baron. So same problem again. Do you want to deploy Fremen Camp? I feel like you kind of want to. But looks like he's going to decline. He's going to go... He's just going to pick up some wealth here. Look to kind of um, shore up the Emperor here by the looks of it. It's kind of awkward with, the, with Fremen Camp. It's not a great reveal card. Even though it does have the two influence on it. You kind of feel like if you get it in your hand. You feel like you should probably be using it. So that's a little awkward. Has no troops in combat either, so it's not going to be doing very much of that reveal. I don't know, do you, use, do you just use it? Give up the diplomacy? It's a tough spot. Back to Ilbarn here. So Ilbarn here has, uh, how much has he got reveal? Eight here as well. So could go selective breeding's out of the options. You don't have enough spice for that. Um, you can't go high council if you wanted to buy spice. Hmm, that's awkward, this. Um, wealth has been blocked by the Emperor, so that's no good for you here. Uh, you don't have any water, so you can't go mining. Wow, this is really awkward. I guess you just diplomacy to... What do you diplomacy to, though? Just, like, secrets or steel suits? Yeah, looks like it's about the only options you've got here. Kind of not much else going on. Just take the water, take the influence. Yeah, kind of just blocked out for everything else. So, you know, some good play from the opponents just to kind of uh, eliminate Ilbarn's options here. Drag them down. Uh, Tezier will reveal for six. We'll pick up Guild Accord here by the looks of it, which is going to be a shame for Helena. Helena not able to pick it up now. Trashing that courtesy of Disposal Facility. So what does Helena do here? So you don't have enough for full-scale assault. You're short by one, which is, again, pretty unfortunate. Oh, do you have enough? No, you don't. Yeah, it's definitely six. She needed seven. What do you pick up here? I guess you just go boundless then. I guess that's your backup plan now that Guild Accord's gone. I, f I reckon she would have picked that up if she could, but it has been taken beforehand. Goes up one of the track, so I suspect she might cash that in now. There's no... There's no text up there that you feel like... You've got some spice in the bag anyways, so you don't necessarily feel like you want to... Get the cheaper buy on any of these, probably. She can't get detonation devices. At, there's no point getting detonation anymore because she can't get full scale assault, which obviously they're now aware that that is the case. So, yeah, just um, blue, just showing that uh, had six influence with the, with that being able to allow her to trash there. So I think you just probably cash this in. It's a little awkward though. I mean, you could consider crack. Uh, you could cash it in with Fremen and look to challenge Tezia for the uh, or uh, the Baron even for um, for Fremen Alliance. He has used his diplomacy card, so you might bank on him not being able to get another card for that. And um, you're going to be potentially recycling into Fufir or diplomacy anyways. So I think making a challenge for Fremen Alliance looks reasonable. You've also got dispatch in anyway as well, so you're always guaranteed to go there if the Baron doesn't make it. So I think that seems like a, a nice way to play. She's going to take... Did you take the spice here? I think you take the spice. I don't think the cash is doing you a lot. You don't want to be funding Ilbarn and his opulence. You're going to be scared of that. It's going to be in the back of the mind. So you got, you know, you've got six to buy. Um, we'll pick up Assassination to see what that throws up. Makes sense. Good Chief Admin's not a bad card. Feels a bit late in the game, though. But we'll pick it up. You're just scarred to trash. Mm, I don't know how much you can get out of that now, but we'll see. So just the two for the Count, or the Baron, I should say. Probably just going Guild Admin. Just for the trashing ability. Seems pretty reasonable. Usually it doesn't stay there for very long. Goes Liaison instead. Also a fairly valid option. So Ilbarn to reveal. Yoban picks up the water, has the six to buy, a few swords, of course, as well, to challenge Tezia. So that's going to be another occasion, Tezia not being able to use to the victor. That's going to be really frustrating. Surely pick up Boundless. Yeah, it does pick up Boundless. You want to be funding Opulence. That's a good way to do so. 
makes perfect sense to me. Um, and that is going to be all for this round. So they will tie. Take two sp two spice apiece. This must be frustrating for Tezia here. Um, kind of just getting denied a lot at the moment. Tezia is still struggling. Only on two points here after five rounds. But yeah, very unlucky for Tezia. She is in trouble. Um, she's got dishes to make up here. Not been able to make a huge amount of influence uh, impact on the influence tracks either. So in real danger, Samancy needs to think of a plan to kind of... Uh, to start getting back to this game, because they are starting to fall behind here. We'll see what they've got in mind. Okay, round six, up for machinations. This could be one for Tezia, but they're out of troops. Ugh, so awkward. Uh, so, two influence on two, uh, influence on two tracks, as you pick. Um, and this could be pretty heavily fought after. Helena threatening with Highliners. Um, Eobarn picks up Opulence here, so we'll be wanting to, to try and make a use out of it. And Lena does pick up Highliner Access. She must definitely be considering making use of that. That looks really, really nice. So I suspect Helena will be going Highliners once again here. Uh, see what the Baron's got here. So he's got Assassination. He's got Fedekin. Court Intrigue as well. Uh, nothing great. No access to Council Spots. That's a little bit annoying. No access to highliners, even if you wanted to go mining here. That's a little annoying. You have to, you have a load of water though, and you gotta think that if you don't do it, Ilbarn might take the spice here from the Great Flat. So feels feels pretty natural here, just to go mining that, take that in the bank, and then kind of see how things stand from there. Um, you can always court intrigue later on. You could perhaps even use court intrigue to go to. Uh, go to conspire perhaps is definitely an option for you as well um, get the influence of the emperor which obviously you're targeting you do want to look to secure that alliance um, no one else is really making much pressure on it get the extra troops and of course the ability will let you start recycling so if you don't dispensation you could definitely cycle that out with intrigue here so i suspect we'll see great flat and conspire would be my guess and it seems pretty solid to me there is step one you can also deploy his troops as well which is always really nice it's the thing as well when you go mining, you want to make sure that you have got your troops in your garrison. So that you're always... You've only got so many action in this game, so you want to have every, each one be maximum effect. He's going to trash his uh, assassination mission as well. Pick up the cash. Very nice. So I would expect to see conspiring second turn here. Uh, might go to a city space first, though. That's, I could definitely see. Because he can go there whenever he wants. It is, it is not blockable here, so... I would expect to see maybe Carfag um, second turn. Uh, does have access to Siege. Could consider going Siege. Get some extra troops in if he needs to. And then conspire third up. Or you could conspire first um, and then go to a city spot afterwards to throw everything in. Also an option. Ilbarn is up. Ilbarn's going to want to cash out for them. He's going to take the money here to get more power out of Opulence. Seems pretty obvious. Um, especially the Baron declining to go shipping, which I think is very risky. Um, I would have strongly considered going there just to deny uh, the Baron. He's going to pay um, some spice here, apparently, for reasons. Maybe he didn't pay enough uh, for, for invasion ships, perhaps. Might just missed it. Obviously taking the influence with uh taking the influence up. Surely taking the money here for opulence power, of course, later on. Makes total sense. The players are gonna know that. Um Ilbarn looking pretty good at the moment. Tezier is gonna start going smuggling here. Probably a little frustrated the way the game's going at the moment. I would be too. Kind of wondering where you, where's your points coming from here? You may only have a couple more turns left in this game. Um I mean at the moment it's pretty tight. Uh, Helena on five, Ilbarn on five, Baron on four, but just lagging with two points after like six turns nearly. Uh, need to find ways to start getting that going. And how are you going to do that? You can just, you need to start working towards Grand Conspiracy. So do you? Where do you get the the points from? You need to buy spice at some point. You need to get the influence. You need to get on the High Council. What work to do? Let's see where Helena's going to go here. Helena making her way to Carfag. Seems pretty solid. Usually pretty popular. Uh, mm, mm. Oh, a card, oh, yeah, card draw from other memory, of course. Picks up Know Their Ways. 
Ooh, now that must be interesting. Hello, potential steel alliance here with dispatching an envoy. Could go uh, to steel suits, perhaps. Um, I suspect there could be a dagger envoy to steel suits for another ways look to to steal the Fremen alliance here. I would say putting in only one troop here looks very suspicious. Um, even if I'm just like, we can see everything, so it makes sense. But I think even if you're sitting in other people's uh, seats, especially for machinations, only putting one troop in here looks very suspicious. I would be playing very wearily here. Uh, I guess it's to probably Arakeen for the Baron. He wanted to go Carfag, I'm sure, but uh, I reckon it's Arakeen instead. Or the Siege. Both are solid. But if you want to win this combat, you've got to be suspicious of Helena here and think that something's coming. We'll take the Siege for the water. Surely put the dude in. Ilban, I would imagine, is also going to start getting involved here. Unfortunately, he does not have enough for his Swordmaster. He is one short. He cannot use his ring to go Swordmaster, as the money is given to him from his ability after he makes the space visit, not before. So he can't buy with that, which is unfortunate. Might consider using Opulence first to get Swordmaster, but I think you just, you just do it this way. This is reasonable. Go Mentat as well, yeah. So it pays one. Uh, for the Mentat instead. Still got Opulence going, so that's fine. And you could use Boundless, perhaps, to look to go to Wealth. That also seems reasonable. Get some more money going. Arakeen for Tezia. Picks up Jamis. There's some swords there. Ah, oh, man. This is this has been really brutal for, for Tezia. She's had pretty... I mean, she's got another turn in the bank, I suppose. But she's not... I don't think she's really pulled the cards she's wanted when she's won them so far this game. It's going to use a ring ability to challenge for the Emperor here to look to cash it in. For her second super token means she gains the bonus immediately, uh, which is two troops for the Emperor. And she will be able to, um, to deploy those as well. So that's a nice play there by Tezia. Tezia desperate for victory to get to the victor. Absolutely desperate. Has Jamis as well. Could go Hardy Warriors afterwards. Cannot be blocked. Uh, this could be Tezius to win this. Now, Helena, do you do it? Do you do you steal the Alliance now? Or do you go Highliners first? Go in Highliners first. Yep. Yeah, makes sense. So here she comes. More violence into the battleground for Machinations here. It's a big combat as well, because she can look to use that to target for Fremen access. Uh, she wants to pick up a second point with the Emperor, so she can shore it up with that. Takes it a 16 strength here. Very, very strong here. This is so frustrating for Tezia. So frustrating. She does have Chowned Delegate, though, so she can still make her way to Interstellar Shipping to get in three more troops. But Jamis is not going to be enough to get the victory here. Lenny just like just bossing combat here a little bit. Here comes the intrigue here. Does conspire or wealth? Go is for wealth. Okay, fair enough. I think I would have conspired. You got a lot of spice in the bank here. We'll get rid of that. Not interested in the high council, which I think is reasonable. I, I can definitely see him wanting to, to discard that one. It's not in his game plan to go high council here. Looking to pick up something a bit more to his strategy. And picks up. It's a Pixie and Peru, one of the newer cards here. Discard two to draw two more. It's a nice card uh, for a bit of deck cycle if you get a bit of a dicey hand. Uh, the Baron does have 14 cards in hand, um, so he might get a bit of an awkward draw. Can look to shift that across. It's a nice pickup. I think it's probably better for him than what he had originally, for sure. Ilban is up next. Ilban now has invasion ships, so at any time he can discard a card so he can infiltrate any space on the board, which is really nice. But only blocking enemy agents specifically. So he couldn't say visit uh, the interstellar shipping twice as he already occupies that space. You obviously want to keep the cash for opulence to buy another victory point there, which makes total sense. So what do you do here? Do you use boundless? I think you're, I think you use boundless here, and you look to start making um, maybe go to secrets and just look make a, a rush for the better Jesuit alliance. Um, you can't go Emperor. That is blocked from you. Could also make a stab for Fremen here as well. 
um, if you want to deploy, but does not choose to do so. We'll go secrets, looking to secure the Bene Gesserit. Picks up finesse. That's really nice. Uh, might even consider using that pretty shortly, just to lock up Bene Gesserit here. Allows you to pick up an influence for dropping one elsewhere. And also can be used for two swords in combat. But realistically, it's generally used for the top abilities. Basically, Tezia's ring ability. It is the same concept. Back onto Tezia here. So the, you know the battle's lost. You know you can't win this. You know there's no way to really force a victory. You'd, you'd hope that Jamis would be enough to secure second place. Probably. So what do you do? Do you use Charm Delegate here? One more spent of interstellar shipping and then rock and roll next turn. What else do you do here? You've only got you've only got the um you only got the liaison here. Convincing can't do anything. It's five to buy. There's not any great cards here. A couple of initiates, guild admin, the rackets recruiters, not very popular. Awkward spot. I think uh, you have two transports, so it just feels great to to pick up the um, the shipping here. And I think that's the only choice. Yeah, if it's the only realistic choice she's got here. We'll go up and down, I would imagine. Get the troops. Um, probably put one more into combat. Try and shore up second place. And then work it out from there, basically. Do you want to go up top here? Uh, Minimic film has appeared up, which is nice. Extra reveal a turn. She, yeah, she can't buy it. She doesn't have the ability to do so this turn. Otherwise, that would be really nice for her, potentially, to start getting more trashing with disposal. But it is not an option. Very awkward, this. She's going to go for it. She's going to guarantee herself second spot. Maybe she's considering... Uh, you could be considering going restricted ordinance. You want the High Council seat anyways for Grand Conspiracy. And she needs to get a win somewhere. Maybe that's the way to do it. We're up next, Lady's just gonna just um, pick a couple of loose spice up here. Does not decide to steal from the Alliance. I'm a little surprised. I really would have considered doing that this turn. Really would have considered just doing that and just kind of forcing uh, the Baron's hands here, but declined to do so. Baron with nothing to reveal. More opulence for Ilbarn. Picks up the water as well. Has four to buy with. Don't know if he'll really pick up anything. Might pick up Guild Admin. Good admin seems reasonable here. Takes Ilban up to six victory points. Ilban's looking pretty good. But unfortunately, we're going to the high combats now. And that's going to start outpacing his opulence. And he's going to start... He may have difficulty here starting to keep the money train going. So we'll see what happens. He's got to cycle his deck through to get opulence, though. He will not get it next turn. Might not even get the turn afterwards. So it's a little awkward. Does not choose to buy. So two swords here for Tezia, which is going to be good enough for second place. Don't know why Green thinks they're at uh, they're eight power here. Get them to, to sort that one out. Don't think he's at eight power, unless I'm missing something here. Anyways, uh, she'll pick up Bene Gesserit Initiate, which makes sense trying to get some extra uh, synergy going with the Missionari. She's not been able to use at all this game. The problem with Missionari is when it comes off, it's really nice, but it is difficult to use. There we go. They have uh, fixed that now. Baron certainly does not have 8 strength. He should be at 6. Yeah, you play it now, but now you've kind of like... I don't know. I mean, I guess you could do it now. You don't have to do it straight away, I suppose. It's not it's not a huge deal. The Baron does not have any actions to play. So the Baron knows he's going to be losing the Alliance, most likely. But you could have could have done that last turn. But hey-ho. Anything to buy here for, uh, for Helena? Other than the liaison the looks of it. So that'll be all. Uh, so that's going to be combat. Um, and no one has anything to play, so Red will take another combat here, Machinations. Uh, third for strength for Tezia. Oh, take, can take it that way as well. I guess that also makes sense. I did miss Machinations for the Fremen Alliance. Makes sense. Tezia with the War and Two Solari, and Water for Ilbarn. We make our way into the Tier 3 conflicts. These are the big ones. 
Big money, big prizes. Hopefully no whammies. Seeding in the Hager Basin. And we'll see what we've got next for turn seven. Which will be starting off with Ilbarn. Turn seven is going to be the battle for Arakeen. It is unoccupied. So there's no free defenders. But it's big prizes now. We'll see what goes on here. Ilbarn um, picks up... Ooh, picks up a really awkward hand. Two swords. Yeah, immediate uh, research station. Needs to draw a better hand than that. That's uh, pretty much an auto play here. Picks up Boundless Ambition, which is nice. So could perhaps go Boundless. Let's pick up Mentat later on. Odds are it's probably going to be taken by then. We'll see. Uh, next up is going to be Tezia. Let's see what Tezia's got here. So Tezia does have access to Guild Accord. This might be the turn she decides to go perhaps Hagger Basin and then look to go Highliners. Um, I think that's what I've been thinking here. Baron does also have access to Highliners. He has Fold Space, but she's not going to know that. <sighs> Horrible spot here for Tezia. I think... But you've also want to go um, sh shipping as well. Be fair, you can still go Guild Accord here. Your um, your the Highliner spot is not blocked, so you can still go Highliners later on. And you went shipping specifically last turn, and you saved up the tech. So maybe you consider. Uh, you can't really do everything you want here, though. You could. You could. Well, actually, saying that's a lie. You could go shipping. Uh, you take the... Uh, oh, she hasn't got enough. I was going to say, you take the uh, the two spice as your reward and then look to pick up uh, Restricted Ordnance. She does have a negotiator as well, so it would only cost her one, which would leave four spice for her to go uh, highlinering. I think this is the play. I think this has to be the play here. You take it down, you take the spice, you buy a high council, uh, which you can buy with your signet ring. And then you and then you uh, do that. No, she goes mimic McFilm. Okay, different strategy planned here. I'd have really tempted to go highliner. Like the only person with any forces really is Ilbarn. And then you can go follow up with uh, with highliner. You need to get points urgently, so you feel like you've got to win this. I think that would have been perhaps the play here. This is also okay, but it's a bit late for mimic film now though. It's only plus one reveal. You, she must also have perhaps an eye on looking to get hold of Spice as well, I guess. But I think at this point, you've just got to focus more on... I don't think you'll get anything for Grand Conspiracy. You're too far behind in your influence tracks. I think you've just got to commit to... Um, you just got to commit to, to winning battles here. And uh, Imperial... Um, taking our key would have been nice for those two victory points. We'll see if that was the right choice from Tezia. Trashing the uh, finger bob there. It's getting hold of the cash. Selective breeding. Picks up another victory point there. Lighting up to seven points here. Looking pretty solid. Starting to pull some distance away from her opponents. Ilban also looking decent as well. Ilban wanted to try and uh, get see if he can get another hit of opulence off before the game ends here. Game unlikely to end this turn. So there's a little bit of distance left. Okay then, so, to the Baron. You got a load of spice. You probably want to start doing something with it. Baron must also be um, having Highliner in mind here. Ilbarn will have him notice that there's at least one player that can go Highliners. Might remember that Tezia does have Guild Accord as well. Uh, Tezia did take the spice, though, so she's... I think Tezia must be considering Highliner here anyways. Did she take back her, how she played her turn? Maybe she did. Changed her mind, and I just didn't spot it. There could be a double Highliner action this turn here. This is going to be huge. Ilbar needs to get forces onto the field immediately. Absolutely immediately here. He, know trouble, he knows trouble's brewing. This is a big turn. We 
you do here? Do you go Hardy Warriors, maybe, just to get maximum forces out? Do you go Steel Suits? you got a liaison, so you do have some access to cities. Could go Carfag, perhaps. I think you consider going... I would consider going Steel Suits or Hardy Warriors of the Fremen. And then you can use your Finesse card to take the Bene Gesserit Alliance. You go down the Influence straight away and look to go up one with Bene Gesserit. Take the Alliance, take the Intrigue there as well. That feels a pretty nice way to play this play currently. What options do you have here? You, can, you know, obviously, you want to try and bank up some cash here. But, you know, but unfortunately, because you've been taking Opulence, you've basically sacrificed your Swordmaster for it. You don't have enough for Mentax. You can't buy that. I think I think that's probably my play. I think I go Hardy Warriors, spend the water, get um, get six troops out there. There's 12 combat. You know trouble's brewing. You know you're going to have to fight here. You've got two daggers, Imperial Spy. It gives you, what, 15 strength? If you don't use Finesse, it's 17 potentially. So I think you were, and this gives you the extra cash as well for using Boundless. I think I think this is the play. You go Hardy Warriors, get the troops in. No, does not decide to do so. Wow, that is a surprise. Picks up, does not have access to Mentat. Um, does not have that. Picks up Ambush, which is pretty good, but it's not going to be enough to win the fight here. I don't know. I feel feel that Ilba might have missed the trick here. Could have secured the alliance anyways if he was that worried. And you would have 12, 12 troops, 6 troops out, 12 strength, plus the daggers 15. You would have been a real good shot for taking Arakeen here. I think he's missed the trick. Mentat here for Tezia. Makes sense. Just kind of holding on here. Tezia desperate for victory points. She's kind of waiting out the Baron, is what she's doing. She's going to see if the Baron's going to go here, uh, going to go for it first. Some shifting around of influence here. Dropping down to go up with the Fremen. High Council here for Helena. Helena's going to be going for Spice. She doesn't have enough current. She's only got seven in hand. Now with the High Council. So that's not enough for that. Does have another action, though. So, could be going... I suspect we'll be going Recon to Research Station. Looking to pick up to the Nine Influence and buy some Spies here. Highlighters, surely. Or is he Hardy Warrior? Hardy Warrior is also a reasonable shout. Both are good. Gotta make a call. I think you... Oh, it's awkward here. I think... You feel probably compelled to Highliner here. Yeah, you feel, it's, it's, you're kind of forced to it. If she's got Guild Accord, she's got Guild Accord. But you have to get forces out here. It's awkward, though. So, Tezia will retaliate with the uh, with Guild Accord here. And he, he, was, he was hesitating. He knew that she could have it in hand. Obviously, nothing in the discard pile. So, has no way of knowing if she's got it or not. But you can see he's clearly, clearly worried that she has it. And indeed, she does. Do you just deploy everything here? It's five water. That's kind of ridiculous. Well, if it goes to a water tie, uh, Baron's looking pretty good. <laughs> Don't think we're going to get there, though. We shall see. Gets the card draw for fold space. How much do you deploy here? Do you deploy everything? You probably end up deploying everything. Um, I mean, you will have a couple of troops left in garrison if you want to rapid mobilize. Picks up Fedekin. He does have the Fremen Bond. That's huge. That's an extra three swords. That's an enormous pull from him. Probably doesn't realize how big a, uh, a pull that is for him. Those swords could well make the difference. Tezia could get denied again. Surely not. He does have Jamis in the backhand. Wow, this is going to be interesting. Reveal for Ilbarn here. Uh, Ilbarn's going to have to sell a third place here. Picking up uh, Truth Sayer. Might pick up the second one as well. He does have enough. He does do so. Worm Riders appears here. Wilhena might even consider buying Worm Riders. She does have the Alliance. That's six swords if she can pull it. And she is about to start drawing again through her deck. So she could pick up immediately. Tessie has a little bit of time here. She needs to... Yeah, she's getting forces in. She's just getting going. 
They will be going in. She needs to pick up Snoopers. This will give her her third Snooper token, which means she will gain an extra influence on the Fremen. So she's basically a plus two. This is nice. And then Highliner will be following. Absolutely no doubt about that. Looks like she's going to finally get the victory here. But I don't know. Baron's going to give her a fright. Helena with more research station as we did predict. Does she get enough? One, three, four, five, six, seven. She does have enough for spice. Needs one more card, I believe. Two more even. My apologies. Oh, that's really nice. Look at that. She's pulled double. Uh, shipping here with the Guild Spate Chief Admin. That's a lovely pull. Really nice. We'll be getting two on the shipping track. That'll be very, very nice. Here comes Ixian Probes. Going to discard Convincings, I would imagine. They will both be going. Drawing battle cards. I thought he might do this. Here we go. Big draw. There's a dagger. Ah, just the one sword. Not he does have Rapid Mobilize, though. Oh, does have another turn. Probably go, yeah, pick up the spice. He's got a ton of water. Threatening more Highliners next turn. That will not be able to be stopped, most likely. You can hold on to Rapid Mobilize as well. This is enormous combat here. It's 18 now for the Baron, plus 19, 20. Baron is going to be at 23 strength. Thinks it's going to be possibly enough, but... <laughs> Wow, this is going to be so... Oh, no. I think Tessie's going to get denied again. Oh, no. She's going to get beaten on sword reveal. Oh, this is so unlucky. I think this is going to give her 20 strength. Jamis gives her 22. The Baron's going to be at 23. This is so brutal. Ixian Probe has got him, Arakeen. This is a disaster for Tessie. So unlucky. So unlucky. Here's the reveal. So plows up two spots here. The shipping, which is really nice. Uh, buying spice, surely, is going to be the play, which she does do. Up to eight points here. Oh, no. This is... this is. I kind of wish I was in cool when this reveal comes in and he realizes what's about to happen. It's so brutal. F Pilling Fred Fre Fre Fedekin was so huge. Here it comes. Oh, Tezia, I'm so gutted for you here. I really am. It's not going to be enough. Gets the spice of Fremen Bond as well, just to, just to add that to misery. It's going to be up to 23. It's not enough for Tezia. That is brutal. So unlucky. So unlucky. Wow, that is, that is crushing. I think that could be Tezia... That could be Tezia's uh, hopes and dreams of this cult, this cult, this tournament. Could be dead right there. Absolutely brutal. From first round, absolutely smashing the table. Complete shutout. What a change of fortunes this time. Unbelievable. And no combat for anyone, so that is that. Arakeen goes to the Baron. Tezia. Tezia, I suppose, just takes the uh, intrigue and spice and just hopes to find some way out of this situation. But it looks like this is going to be it for Samansi. His tournament is over. Unless he can pull something crazy out of the barrel. Where do you go, Grand Conspiracy? You're just not there. Picks up Windfall. This feels a bit late now to use Windfall. It's not going to do much for you here. High Council, I guess. Buy Spice. Try and get up to uh, a fourth spot with Fremen and the Guild. Gives you a point from Grand Conspiracy, but it doesn't feel like enough, does it? Ilbarn will take third spot. Picks up Diversion. Uh, which is nice, and he does have four. He does have four uh, entry cards here. Someone might consider trying to steal here. Diversions, oh right, deploy up to four, get an extra uh, movement shipping. That'd be really nice for Tezia, actually. 
That could be really good of her if she ever manages to get Highlander again, but it's not going to happen. She's not going to get Guild Accord again. Next up is Economic Supremacy. This is always a fun combat here. So second place gets a point, third place gets a first place gets a point, but also can cash in resources for the victory points. And guess who's got the resources? It's the Baron. This could be last turn here, potentially. I don't but it's hard to know. Helena's only got eight. It's gonna struggle to win this one, I suspect. Cause Baron can always just highlight, and that's pretty much all she's wrote. Is Tezia up to up to bat first? What on earth do you do here? Probably weirding. Uh, maybe weirding your shipping. And then... Then I don't know what. You do have appropriate. Is there anything in that you can make use out of here? Detonations. Don't think you can get much of. Uh, you could maybe use it to get hold of artillery, perhaps? You want to get hold of um, High Council as well. You could spend the spice for local fence to get hold of. Uh... You could go local fence into a city, get hold of some uh, some troops, and use that to convert your slurry into spice, uh, spice into slurry, and then go. You could then go to high council with appropriate, pick up your council seat, and also buy artillery. Um, I don't think you'll have enough to buy restricted ordnance at the same time, unfortunately. So awkward for Tezia. Such a tricky spot. Second place is enough. Where do you find three or four points, though? Like, you're no good for either alliance. Red's got both of them locked up. Yeah, gonna use shipping here, I suppose. Just get troops onto the field. I don't know if Tezia really wanted to go combat heavy in this game. But when you pull up to the victor, it kind of makes you compelled to go that route. Whether Tezia is really designed for that... She can be, but she wants to be going to a lot of faction alliance, and a lot of that has been kind of denied to her. So those will be going in. If the Baron can somehow win and maintain a lot of his spice and Solari, he could win it this game, this turn. Ilban picks up uh, opulence in his hand, so he'll be wanting to let them make the money. He does have Signet Ring. Uh, but uh, if someone goes smuggling, he will be blocked from opulence. He doesn't have any access to wealth currently. He does have no access there, so that's a little awkward. We'll be praying no one goes smuggling the next couple of turns. Absolutely praying. If he can, he'll definitely surely signet ring up to smuggling, and then that is opulence paid for for its third point of the game. Oh, he could go there anyways. He has invasion ships. So he could discard to go smuggling regardless. Wow. This could be a third point for Ilbarn's opulence here. If he spots it. Win away, of course, played. Here comes Appropriate. You've got to go High Council here, surely. Yeah, this seems the only play. Go High Council. You could buy... Uh, you could buy... Um, she could buy Restricted Ordnance, actually. She has enough money just... And she buys it with a Solari. Oh, that's huge. Gives her a total of 10 strength currently in the combat, which isn't bad. Only has one more action, though. It's a little awkward. Picks up the high council spot, which she really needed. Making the, we're making the progress on Grand Conspiracy now. Dreadnought's probably out of action. She didn't pick up Spice, though. Forward influence, she's got it with the Fremen. Just got to get there with Highliners as well. Tezia, man, a late, late game comeback here. It's, it, it is on. It's tough. Mint hat for Helena, just holding by. To the Baron. Now, it's really awkward for Baron here. Like, you want to win this fight desperately. You win If you get first place, you don't use many resources, you win the game. How on earth do you do that? Is it really on? I don't think so. You have no... Man, you don't even have access to Highlands, even if you wanted it. He has rapid mobilization, remember. He might consider going mining and just stacking troops up and use rapid mobilize to uh, to go here. I could see Fremen camp to get the troops. I could see conspiring to get the troops. And then you just use rapid mobilization. This is just a turn. You want to get as many troops into your garrison at one point and rapid mobilize. It feels like that's the plan here. Because if you do that, you have all your resources. And if you win this combat, you win the game. It's over. You go through. What do you do first here? 
Probably Signet Ring first. Go to a city like Carfag. Yeah, yeah, Carfag sounds uh, solid. Pick up a couple of intrigues. Start getting troops uh, ready to rock and roll. Picks up War Chest. Ooh. Oh, that's interesting. So now War Chest. It's just unfortunate. War Chest is a really nice card. If you have Tenable Solari, you get the point. Kind of interferes with economic supremacy, though. So that's a bit of a shame. Picks up reinforcements. Uh, that's really nice, but he's not going to have enough to uh, to get reinforcements and be able to buy for economy. He needs nine Solari. He'd need to find another one from somewhere. So that is that is a problem for him. He's not going to make use out of that. Although, to be fair, actually, that's a lie. If he goes court entry, or if he goes court entry to here, he gets the money anyways, and then plays reinforcements. This game could be it. It could be over right now. This could be last turn. Fremen camp, get troops. Court entry, conspire, get troops. Pay for reinforcements, rapid mobilization. Merry Christmas. This could be it. It's going to be tight though as well. So let's say if Ilbard manages to get his money together here to pick up the um, to pick up the opulence here, pick up his uh, next point. He's going to be tied at eight currently with Helena. Helena, you're going to think is probably considering going for um, for for spice here. She currently has seven plus the two. She has the nine for spice. She will play for fear. She gets the card draw anyways. And must have eyes on perhaps defending the Fremen Alliance. Here comes Diversion. He's going to use that to get the extra dude, which is fine. She, he went... Uh, went. Where did he go? Did he get Arakeen? Yep, paid the money uh, to deploy. That seems reasonable. I still think the play here, though, is you go Signet Ring. You invade ship if you need to, to go smuggling. Um, and that just gets you your opulence. I think you have to make sure you do that before the turn is over. Will he see it? I think the thing with invasion ships, you sometimes you forget you have it, and you forget that you can use that to infiltrate here. Um, and as it turns out, the way this turn's looking, if he doesn't see it, he might be out. It's going to be incredibly important here. Tezia drawing cards, looking for spice. Picks. Oh, she picks it. She gets the spice of the council bonus. Huge pull. And he gets Charm Delegate. So can still go smuggling if she wanted. Huge pull. That is huge for her. But she still needs an extra influence though. She needs influence with the with the uh the highliners. And I don't think she can get it. That's a problem. Other M, other memory here for uh, Helena here. This is risky. I would have thought you'd play Fuffy here. This is dangerous. I think you are definitely risking uh, not being able to pull Spice here. But more interested in just securing the alliance here uh, with the um, with the. I suppose she went shipping here and cashed it in. I guess looks like it. A little preoccupied. But I do apologize. This is super tight for, for for second place. And I don't think they realize how close it is. That's the thing. It's not obvious. I think first first is... Uh, they're not going to see first coming here. This is going to be brutal. Well, this is going to be so close for second. Tezia, uh, Helena's up on Spice. Ilbar needs to find a couple of points. Opulence is not going to be enough. Remember, of course, they're still fighting for second place. Economic supremacy. Second place, you still get the, the point here. If Ilbarn could secure that in opulence, he would probably be good for second. We'll qualify to the quarterfinals. Here's the opulence play. Called this one. Here we go. Just stacking up the troops. Now, if I was the other players, I'd be a little suspicious of this. This looks a very strange play. Why do you need the extra money? You know, are you that desperate for influence? This seems suspicious. I'd be, I'd be a little concerned here. I'd be worried about what's going on. War chest as well. Picks up Poison Snooper. Can use that immediately. So in no danger of stuff being stolen here. Uh, he's probably going to have to use War Chest for the combat ability, I would imagine. Uh, as Economic will still be able to give him the cash. Picks up Liaisons. He'll, he'll probably keep that. 
But let's work it out. So he has 14 points, right? So he's got... No, no. He, he What? No way you draw, draw, drawing that. I mean, you don't need, I suppose. Reinforcement you can deploy anyways. He's going to go from it. He's going to go from a cap. He picks a plans of him. Plans. Oh, my goodness me. He has a point. He has enough Fremen, Highliners, and uh, and uh, the Emperor as well. This game is looks over. Next turn, he's just going to go Fremen camp, pay reinforcements, pay war chest. This game is over. It's all about second place now. It's the Baron and Helena. Baron's got to find a couple of points. He is losing the Spice Race. Can Tezia make a late play somehow? Yeah, here we go. Here's the smuggling. Oh, wait, instead of shipping, close is good enough. That's fine. Now, he's got to calculate this out here. He's still going to be behind. He takes the spice. Obviously, he's going to pay for opulence. Gets the victory point there. Oh, that's huge. Finds a victory point with the Emperor. Ilbarn with the advantage here. He's at eight points. Helena now the one struggling here. She knows she's got six. He's got six Solari. She knows there's a danger here. Huge possibility that he has opulence. You've got to be scared of that. Helena in trouble. Trying to spice. She's behind on Solari. Even if she she was just to take the point now, it's not enough. She has to buy. She has to mine more spice. She has to mine more spice here. She's got to be ahead of Ilbarn. She takes the spice, she gets a nine. Uh, Opponents gives it to nine, but again, the problem is, looks like he's going to pick another point from combat. How can you can you stop him? Can you somehow take second place? You've two agent actions. Fear seems seems the play. You've got to got to get action here. Takes the point with the emperor himself. That's also a good play. That's solid. Up to nine. Advantage back with Helena now. Now Ilbarn needs to find it. Ilbarn can take two points. That'll be ten each. Currently, Ilbarn winning on Solari at the moment. This is super close, but he won't be because he's going to pay for opulence. So you'll only have one Solari. Helena in the lead. Here comes the play. Fremen camp. Fremen camp incoming. He will pay reinforcements as well. A war chest will be his. So this game is looking... This game looks over. Baron's going to win it. I don't think there's any way that's going to change. Tezia looks like it's over for Tezia. So devastated for Samancy. I was so impressed with your first game. It's just not happened. You've been just just denied all over the place. It's been super unlucky. Here's the reveal. He's just revealing. Here we go. So he pays for it. He's going to get the, sp the point. That takes him to nine. He's going to hope, he's going to assume he gets the 10 here. He is currently third place, so he's going to have to finesse an ambush to get up to fourth, to second here. Which will secure him the 10th point. But Helena's going to buy spice. Helena's going to, is she going to win this on Solari? She got enough. Why does she stand though? She's got two, three, four, five, six. And... Oh wait, no! Oh, she she doesn't have enough for spice. Oh no! Oh Helena, she's she's. Oh no, she doesn't have enough for, to buy spice anymore. She needs to find the tenth point. She needs it now. She might not think she needs it. She might see he's inferred. Oh, this is this is horrible spot. Yep, discarded and then trash. She will go up to. She'll use that for the spice. Um, I would imagine for tiebreaker here, but she needs another victory point. Yep, saying it's discarded and then trash. That's how she's able to play it twice. Wow, this could be... This is all about the intrigue here. What does she find? Is it anything that's good? Sleeper Awakens would be a point. 
Chown shares. It's not going to be enough unless she somehow gets third. If she gets third and Chown shares, she might. Can she play it still? I don't think so. I think it'd be too late. Picks up Bindu. That's. Oh, wow. She has six. I don't think she's got enough to buy spice. She's going to get edged out here. Here comes the reinforcements, of course. We saw this one coming. So Baron looking very strong here. This is Baron's to win. Baron up to 18 now. Baron's played a pretty solid game, to be fair. I can't, can't fall him at all. He's played very strong. He's picked up some nice cards, to be fair, as well. Uh, took a risk early. Not going for the immediate master stroke, but uh, it has worked out. Here comes Bindu. Picks up convincing. It's not enough. It's only eight. It's not enough for Spice. Oh, no. Disaster. Disaster. This could be it. Yeah, it's not enough. Oh. Here comes the ambush. He's ready to play. He's begging to play. He's like, give me that victory point. I've earned it. I want it so bad. He's going to take it. No one could do anything about it. It's going to be enough to sneak through here. And he's going to play finesse as well, just to shore up the strength, just to make sure. He knows this game is probably over. He sees it. Get himself up to 10. He might as well play it now. Wow. This has been, dram this has been a dramatic game. A lot has happened. It's been a great match. But this one this one looks over. Baron, uh, Ilban takes a point. Takes in the 10. Uh, Baron is also going to get up to 10 points here, courtesy of Economics. Oh, they're trying to work out how this is going to work here. So he thinks he's going to... He can't have that end that. It's not end game yet. It's still the end of... It's still the finished combat here. So he can't use this twice. He has to pay for the Economic Supremacy first. Then he won't have enough for War Chest. So it won't matter... Yeah, they're selling him that doesn't he can't play that yet. It's not end game. You can't use that to take the point and then pay for economics. That's not how that works. Nothing for Grand Conspiracy for Samancy. Samancy, so unfortunate. I'm so sorry to see you go. You played amazing first game. Baron is gonna win it here. Baron with the victory at eleven points. Helena Helena's not gonna make it here. Helena is down a nine. Ilban gets through on the second place finish with 10 points. Opulence. Three hits of Opulence this game. What a pickup for him. Absolutely enormous. Just didn't have Vitesia. What a hell of a game. Great fun commentating. It's a good match. And there's the last game of the round twos. Next up will be the quarterfinals. I'm going to quickly go in and say hi to the players and uh, hear their thoughts on the game. Good with... With Ilvan, I was, I was like, going to be my gameplay, just try and hit Opulence and hope. I mean, I, I've heard of printing money, three hits of Opulence, man. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a yeah, rough. Yeah, that, that was a great game. So I do want to say quickly, commiseration Samancy, like, man, yeah. I, I so sympathetic you, man. That was just that like, was pretty that was rough. rough. Did, you, uh, did you see me stressing out on like, Oh my god, I need one fucking buy. Yeah, copper. you were one spice short Twice. there. Yeah, oh, one 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 uh, uh, one you, short. You know that I used this card and when I did the exchange, I got this card. Yeah, he picked up pads yeah. and plans just to short the victory there. But yeah, it was real backwards and forwards between you and Ilbar on the last turn there. Like just edging it, like, oh one person's fruit, then it's the next one, then we don't know. But um yeah, that was had, real yeah, yeah this is literally I just needed one more card. I was like I was either going here. The draw one card or here. It was it's kind of play. it's kind of brutal as well because you actually drew with your nine uh your nine persuasion like immediately. 
but it's like you, you kind of want to use actions. You got for fear, you know, draw, get some influence back, and then you pull I mean, like. Um... The thing is, the, well, the thing is, I had these, so I was just like, oh, should, this should be fine. This yeah. Scared, unfortunately, this scared me right here. One hundred percent. This move scared me right here, and I was like, "Fuck, bro, you have to do that to me." So, yeah. like, I had to use. I was I had hoping to use... we went another round yeah. for this. Yeah, definitely. I was really, I was really scared of not getting my sword master is gonna fuck me. You had uh, me. You had me scared because I was like, if I had gone here instead, I would like would have like used that tick here. I would use the tick here to take the point, and then yeah. I would have taken my other guy uh, instead of this one. I would use Chopier to go here the cold of yeah. cards mm -hmm. instead that's why i was just like bro you gotta do this to me yeah was that was like, brutal that was brutal but uh yeah it was huge, just huge just free hits of help into ill bomb picked up boundless ambition to print even more money it was pretty well, ridiculous uh, yeah, that, was nice. that was really yeah. nice but, whoa uh, bro yeah i was like i was hoping you would take this one if you had taken this one i was like okay this one's definitely i definitely would came here but i was also yeah. worried the, when i picked up these two that that was gonna fuck me, but I got a little bit lucky there, pulling yeah. opulence again. Yeah, to to, to to pull that to, to, yeah, to get free hits, yeah. it's pretty good going. But yeah. you, you had to find the money, and you did to be fair. So yeah, no fights. But yeah, yeah, no congratulations to uh, to the Baron and, and Count. Commiserations to Helena and Tezia. But it was a really fun game. That was a great fun commentating that. Really good oh, stuff, guys. Uh, yeah, you're just like, oh my god, everything is ridiculous. It was a great last turn. That was fun. That was great stuff. So. Uh, Best of luck uh, to you two in the quarterfinals. And that is all for the game as they trash the table and everything goes nuts. So, yes, thank you for your company. Hope you've enjoyed this game. Cracking game to finish off the round two. Uh, next up will be the round of uh, 16. Quarterfinals are up. Uh, my show yourself is also drawn. We're about to sort out our table times. Uh, but from all us here uh, for the 2022 Dune Table Top Simulator Tournament, sponsored by Artificery, I'm the Black Shadow. Have a lovely evening. We'll see you in the quarterfinals.